Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the process control philosophy. What is process control philosophy? Who prepare the process control philosophy? What is the advantage of process control philosophy? Okay, this is very important document to build the DCS. Okay, so let's start the video. So, first of all, this process control philosophy is prepared by the process engineer or the process department, right? So, it is a process document which is prepared by the process engineers and this document, when the process engineer prepare this document, so this document is given to the instrumentation engineer, okay? And instrumentation engineers use this document to prepare the DCS system, okay? And you can simply say that to incorporate the alarm, interlocks, etc. in a DCS system or in a control system. Okay, for example, let's see, you have prepared the, as a process engineer, you have prepared the one PNID and in that PNID there is the pump. Okay, just see, this is your pump. Now, you have provided here one interlock with respect to level. Okay, if the level of the tank, if the level of the tank becomes low, low, it means that your pump is going to be tripped. The first thing, second thing, when the pressure when the discharge pressure of this pump will get high high so simply your pump should be tripped okay these are two interlocks so these interlock will be provided will be provided in the pnid okay same you have to provide this interlocks in the process control philosophy as well so that the instrumentation engineer can incorporate while preparing the documents right so what are the information is available in the process control philosophy so first of all whatever the instrument you are seeing in the pnid which reading is going to be in a dcs okay so that instrument will be incorporated in the process control philosophy for example your pt right lt tt control walls whether it is a level control wall flow control wall pressure control wall etc right so all the instruments and the analyzer as well these all instruments working purpose okay will be incorporated in the process control philosophy as well as you will have to provide the information about the interlocks okay the interlock the you will provide the information about the interlock and its description so the interlock description you will provide the interlock tag number you will provide as a process engineer you will provide the interlock tag number interlock description okay and how this interlock is associated with the which instrument or which uh, equipment okay so that all the information you will provide mainly the cause and effect you will provide in the process control philosophy and when you prepare the process control philosophy please keep in mind that it should be aligned with your latest pnid Okay, for example, let's suppose if in our PNID there is the there is a revision for, so you must prepare the your control philosophy with respect to revision four. I hope you got my point. What I want to tell you, okay. And when you will provide or when you will give this process control philosophy to the instrumentation engineer for approval, you can say not approval for review. Okay, when you will provide this document to the instrumentation engineer so instrumentation engineer will review this document and they will prepare their document if they found any like anything wrong information there or if they found any discrepancy there so they will comment in your document and you have to revise your document accordingly i hope you are getting my point what i want to say so that's how the process control philosophy documents prepared okay and when you prepare this document you will have to also provide the journal information for example about the pump about about the pump motors information okay like for example the start and stop button okay that all information which is the journal information so that information you will provide in a control philosophy like your motor start stop provision dcs indication etc these all information you will provide in the process control philosophy so it will help the operation like dcs operator as well as your instrumentation engineers okay and when you will build the dcs it is going to help you right 
सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड डेट हाउ दिस प्रोसेस कंट्रोल फिलोसफी इज प्रिपेयर एंड वट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस कंट्रोल फिलोसफी सी सिंपली देयर इज वन योर पंप ओके दिस इज द पी एफ डी एंड हेयर इज ए योर कैटल टाइप रिबॉयलर नाउ इफ लेट्स एज्यूम डेट इफ दिस कैटल टाइप रिबॉयलर लेवल गोज डाउन ओके एंड इट कम्स एल एल सो इफ इट गोज एल एल सो for the pump safety i will provide here the interlock so that whenever the level of this cattle type reboiler become or the reboiler becomes low low so my pump should be trip if my pump will not be trip obviously the pump internal parts could be damaged and the cavitation could be occur got it my point same let's suppose if there is one pti i have provided why if the pressure becomes high high or the discharge pressure becomes high high so simply this pump should be trip otherwise your pump internal parts could be damaged your line could be damaged okay and that all information we must provide in the process control philosophy so that the dcs operator could understand that okay and when he will operate the plant so he must know about these interlocks same see here we i have provided here one control wall so what is the purpose of this control wall how this control wall is going to be used that information should be provided in the control philosophy same about this level control wall which i have used here so how this control wall is going to be used okay what is the purpose of this control wall that information we must provide in the process control philosophy i hope you understood my point what i want to tell you because what you want as a dcs operator or when you prepare the or when you build the dcs you want the safety first okay and your process should be go in a efficient way right so that's why we prepare the process control philosophy and it is a very very important document so whenever the process engineer prepare this document he must ensure that it is aligned with the latest pnid or the as built pnid so i hope you understood about the process control philosophy if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box i will definitely clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you